Hola a todos, gracias por estar aquí y unirse en esta charla para todos aquellos que quieren conocer más acerca del personaje del momento. Es Josh Cavallo, anunció su homosexualidad hace apenas dos días. Hola a todos, es Josh Cavallo aquí. I'm at my home here in Adelaide. There's something personal that I need to share with everyone. I'm a footballer and I'm gay. I want to inspire and show people that Futbolista okay del Adelaide United. En Australia tiene 21 años y es el primer futbolista en activo en toda la historia en anunciarlo. Estamos en 2021 y ha tenido que llegar eh, octubre de 2021 para que este hecho haya sucedido. Eh, sucedió con Thomas Hitzperber, eh, ex internacional alemán, pero lo anunció después de colgar las botas. Lo hizo también Thomas Beatty, se convirtió en el primer futbolista profesional del Reino Unido en declararse homosexual, pero también lo hizo después de retirarse. Y aquí en España recordamos a Jesús Tomillero. Hace unos años fue un árbitro, entonces tenía 21 años, como ellos, y también se atrevió a hacer pública su homosexualidad. Insisto que es el personaje del momento. Hay momentos que son históricos y ya era hora de que esto sucediese. Y le agradecemos mucho que esté con nosotros para todos aquellos que nos siguen a través de las redes sociales de la cadena SER. Quiero agradecer a Josh que esté con nosotros. I want you uh, to thank you, Josh, for being with us in Cadena Ser, Spain. <laughs> thank, thank you for having me. How are you, Josh? I'm very happy. I'm very overwhelmed with the support I got from my family, my friends, and the world on a global scale. Uh, how long uh, have you thought about taking this step? To make it public. Yes, uh, this step started for me about six years ago. You know, it's something that I've I've always lived with, and I struggled with growing up. Um, I always wanted to dream to be a footballer and be gay and do what I love. And um, something when I was growing up, I didn't have a, a, a footballer to look up to and see this. And I want to change this. I want to be a role model for the, mm. the future generation and show the younger generation that that it's okay to be yourself and be gay and play football. Have you been scared? Have you been scared in any time uh, to make it public? Yes. <laughs> yes, look, um, in, in the process of coming out, there's a lot of things that you have to think about. And um, thinking about how your teammates are going to react, how your coaches are going to react, how you're going to get treated on the field. Um, of course, they are things that I was thinking about. But at the end of the day, I, I wanted to be happy. And going home and, and, and putting my head on that pillow. I wanted to go to sleep and, and be happy with my life. And for six years, unfortunately, I wasn't. In the video, uh, two days ago, you talk about the double life uh, you've lived. How was that double life? Yeah, look, it was very hard. You know, I, 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 be, I will be training on the pitch and playing games. And while I'm playing, I'm thinking of, you know, when I'm in the change rooms after the game, I, the players are going to ask me questions and I need to make up a story to fit in or um, I need I need to do I need to act a certain way and not be myself and and, and this is very scary because it's a big distraction for yeah. football for me as a professional you want to be performing at your best of your ability and this is a, a very big distraction to have so I've been I've been I've been having this distraction for six years now and I am glad and excited I can put it to bread to bed now <laughs> Hmm. Uh, we do this interview uh, from Madrid, Spain, that is almost 11,000 kilometers away from Adelaide, where, where, where you live. Uh, it's obvious that uh, we live in a globalist world. Uh, do you perceive that there are homophobia around football in the world? Um, look, I, I, I don't know. I, we, haven't, we haven't seen uh, a gay player actively play before, so it will be interesting to see how how the public treat me when I do play. Um, at the moment, online, I have read nothing but good things, you know. Griezmann messaging me, uh, PK messaging me. The, these are big players around the world. Zlatan Ibrahimovic messaging me, you know. The likes of John Terry messaged me yesterday too. So just to congratulate me and make me proud. And I think this is important for the world to see all these high high profiles messaging me and encouraging this. And I, And we are in 2021, and I think it's a great opportunity, you know, for us to accept this. In the real world, being gay is okay. So let's make it okay in football too. Uh, have you said John Terry sent you a message yesterday to you? Yes, I was very shocked. He followed <laughs> me too, and I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Is your idol? Yes, yes, he's a huge <laughs> idol. 
<laughs> okay, uh, talking about that, um, here in Spain, uh, there are famous uh, sportsmen like Pau Gasol, um, Gerard Piqué or Antoine Griezmann that uh, sent you a message via, via Twitter or, or any other social media. Uh, uh, do you know someone of, of this? Do you know who is Pau Gasol, Antoine Griezmann or Gerard Piqué, Jos? I don't know them personally, no. Um, I, I just had the message from them to say congratulations and, and they are proud. Um, it, it, it made me very happy on the inside and, and it made me think, uh, why have I been hiding this for so long? Um, do you know how many messages, uh, WhatsApps, messages on Twitter, Instagram have you received? <laughs> In the last 48 yeah, hours, so, uh, over over three million. <laughs> over three million. Yes, it's been crazy. Uh, all positive. I'm I'm very grateful. I'm trying to keep up the best I can, but uh, it's very overwhelming. My phone all the time is shut down on me. So, <laughs> have you changed your mobile phone? Maybe it explodes. Uh, yes, yes. This is something I will need to be doing <laughs> soon. <laughs> Uh, okay, just uh, what would you say to all the football players in the world that maybe are watching this interview and they are gay and yeah. don't want to say it or don't dare to say it? Yeah, look, I, I think it's important for everyone to know, you know, you, you be yourself. You don't need to put an act up. And look, I am a great example of how the public can react and and. It's, this is something to celebrate, you know. This is this is a huge step in football and we're evolving the game. And I, I do think that, you know, for someone that finds himself in my shoes, um, just to be comfortable with yourself. My mm. regret is hiding this secret for six years, you know. I'm lucky that I'm 21 now and I have so many years ahead in football that I can look forward to and it's not too late. Uh, okay, and we talk about the, the, the football players, maybe you're 20, 25, 30 years old, but uh, what about the children? What about the children in Australia and other, other countries in the world that maybe they are 8, 10, 12, 14 years old and, and they don't want to say it, they feel gay and they want to play football, but they, they don't want to say it. What would you say? Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I think this is important. This is an important step. You know, they they can see examples like me um, stepping up and they can say, oh, it is okay. Look, Josh Cavallo, he is gay and he plays soccer. This, this, is, this is great. He plays football. So I think if people are seeing this, it will encourage you. Uh, it is sad to see, you know, we could have the next Messi or the next Suarez on their hands and, and they turn away from football because they're gay and they think they don't fit in. Has your life changed forever? Oh, yes. My life has changed forever. I, I woke up yesterday and I had the sorest cheeks from smiling all, all day yesterday. So I'm not used to smiling this month. Are you happy? Okay. I'm talking here in Cadena Ser with a happy person. Very happy. <laughs> yes, very I'm happy. a very happy person. Now, Josh Cavalli is very happy. <laughs> <sighs> Um, okay, right now you, you, you play in, in Australia, but but would you like to, to, to play in Europe or maybe in Spain Definitely. in the future? You know, this, 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 is, this is my dream to play in Europe. You know, I, I first started, this is where I live in Australia, but my dream, of course, is, is to play in La Liga and, and to play for clubs like Barcelona and Atletico. Um, this, is, this is something that I, I will dream for and aim for in the next few years. What, what, what's your favorite team? In Spain, do, do you have a favorite, favorite team? team? Barcelona. 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 Okay. And yes. <laughs> but, but, but you know that Messi is now in Paris Saint Germain. No, I don't care. <laughs> I I come and I will replace him. <laughs> okay, just uh, thank you very much for this thank interview. Thank you so much for having me. And good luck. Thank you. <risa> Se lo agradecemos a Josh Cavallo por esta entrevista, por esta charla que, que ha mantenido con todos aquellos que eh, quieren interesarse acerca de, voy a decir yo, de este asunto. Ya era hora de que en 2021 un futbolista lo hiciese público, pero también de alguna manera eso nos hace pensar el por qué hemos tenido que esperar hasta, insisto, octubre de 2021 para que un futbolista en activo lo haya hecho público. Cuando tenemos casos también aquí en España de otros deportistas en otras especialidades que ya lo han hecho. Existe un tabú con la homosexualidad y el fútbol. Ojalá que esto permita derribar barreras. Gracias por estar ahí. Hasta la próxima.